Oro Blessing and Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO. I'm a certified relationship and mental expert and intellectual entertainer. So that's what I do for a living. Great. You looked at your side, but let's go. It's fine. Okay. At what point did you say to yourself, I want to become a relationship and mental expert, and why? Um, especially when I got divorced from my previous marriage, I needed to know why the marriage didn't work. I wanted to know why the marriage lasted for one year and four months. So I decided to embark on that journey. You know what I did? I wanted to know what I didn't do right and what I did wrong. So that was why I started studying, discovering, and rediscovering. And how has it been so far? Ah, wonderful, splendid. I realized that a lot of people do not even know why they are getting into marriage at the first place. So it's an interesting journey for me. Okay, tell us about First Therapy Lounge in Africa, aka Break or Make Therapy Lounge. Okay, Break or Make Up um, is a therapy lounge I created um, last year because I realized that in a, in a country like Nigeria, we don't have a lot of people to talk to. Most times when we want advice, we go to our parents, our family, our friends, and they give us what is called a personalized advice. We don't have those professionals who can tell you the things exactly the way they are. So that was why I told myself, okay, it's time to open a therapy lounge where you can come in and talk to a professional therapist comfortably. Any that person that is not going to judge you, that's very neutral, that's going to tell you the consequences of every action that you want to take. So, and the office is located at um, number eight, Waba Street in Independence Layout in the Lugu State. So we're coming to Lagos very soon. Okay, great. So, so you've been talking to a lot of people. I know people come to you for consultation and also what's like the weirdest thing people have spoken to you about? <laughs> Okay, a client of mine came and said he's not he's, he's um fifty three and he's not married, so he came to me and said he's looking for a wife. So I asked him, How come you're fifty three and you've not because he's very wealthy? And I'm like, How come you're fifty three and you've not seen a girl? There are lots of girls everywhere that would want to throw themselves at you. And he was like, He's weird, he has um a fetish. And I'm like, What's your fetish? And he's like, He's this kind of person whenever he's making out or he's making love, he likes to see blood. So he's this kind of person that likes to cut you with a razor, a knife, <laughs> weird, right? So he says most times he tries with a lot of girls and they just run up. It was weird, but I told him to keep praying. He's gonna find me. So okay, much. let's talk about being an influencer. Wow, the mind. Okay, let's. Doing great. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Good. <clears throat> Say something. Hello. So you're based in Enugu. Yes. Now, um, how were you able to break into the industry, the influencing industry? Because we know a lot of Nigerians are more prominent in that aspect of um, the business. So how did you, how were you able to break into that industry? Um, first of all, uh, I was working with the Nigerian police for suspension and I got transferred from Abuja to Enugu. So I realized that you can make do of the social media. It doesn't matter where you are, your location, just do your thing as a social media. So. At some point, people told me, actually, when I wanted to open my lounge, they were like, come to Lagos, nobody's going to come to Enugu. And I'm like, no, you can make it anywhere you are. Just do your thing. So I kept doing my thing and making it very loud and controversial. So they heard me. Okay. How would you describe the kind of content you put out? I'm going to say intellectual entertainment. Mm. If you're a vast person, you're going to see the intellect. If you're a shallow person, you're just going to laugh and go. So I call it intellectual entertainment. You can either pick out something good for yourself or just laugh and just... Yeah, take a walk. All right, try to infuse a question okay. to the other. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. So, what are some of the challenges you faced in your business generally? Um, some of the challenges I face is the fact that um, a lot of people already have a rooted mindset, so it's easy for you. This is something they have known all their lives. So, um, on helping them unlearn and relearn is very difficult because they will always tell you my mother said, my father said, my uncle said. So I think that's the most challenging thing I have faced. So I have to keep talking to them. Sometimes I have to get closer to them and make them my friends. And it's, it's been a bit challenging, but because I'm passionate about the job, so it's, it's part of me now. All right, let's talk about your fashion. How would you describe your personal fashion style? I'm just a simple person that just likes to wear anything that you know, fits me. That's my fashion style. What's that one fashion accessory you can't leave your house without? Ooh, that one fashion accessory. Ooh. Ooh, I think my my necklace. I sleep with it, I beat with it, everything with it. Okay. <clears throat> now, would you rather wear a lingerie every day or never wear a bra again? Never wear a bra again. 
Why? <laughs> I hate to wear bras. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, would you prefer a dog or a cat for a pet? No. I don't like animals, but cats. Rich and sad or poor and happy? Rich and sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what would you call the, uh, the female of a whale? Female of a whale? Mm -hmm. A whaler? You have like three guesses, so just... Willy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually a cow, funny enough. A cow? I saw it online, I didn't know. Oh. Okay, so I think that's, that's it. That's about it. Um, so just do like an outro for us. Now you go over your name, um, what you do, and then you say you're watching Chris City Daily on Spice TV. Come again. My name is Victor Akuma Oche. I am a this and that. You're watching 360 Daily on Spice TV. Okay. I go. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, popularly known as Blessing CEO, a certified relationship expert. And you're watching 360 Daily on Spice TV. Great. But you have to do that. You are looking at me, so just. Yeah. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. Roland. 360 Daily, right? Yeah. Okay. It's spicy. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, a relationship therapist, and you're watching 360 Daily on Spice TV. Great, thank you.